Good evening, everyone. We would like to, we would like to welcome you to come into our beautiful theater that we are finally able to use after two and a half years. It's good to be back. We're your hosts this evening. My name is Christine. And my name is Sam. And we have, thank you, I'll just borrow this. And we are comprised of a multitude of classes such as? We've got electronic music too, audio for visual media, and um, what's the third? Oh, mu <laughs> pardon me. Uh, electronic music composition portfolio. Before we begin, we would like to do some housekeeping. Please make sure all your phones are set to silent or are off, as we do not want to disturb our performers by a phone call. And we do ask that if you need to get up at any moment, that you do, do so in between pieces as to not to distract any of the performers tonight. We would also like to ask that you keep all your masks on during the performance and overall, just have them on. Thank you. And without further ado, we have our first presenter tonight. We have the artist Euphoria, and the song in our program tonight says Dress Up, but Euphoria will be performing Persephone this evening. We hope you enjoy the show, and let's give Euphoria a round of applause.
Let's give another round of applause to Angie. So before I bring up the next performer, we would like to note that this performer is part of uh, our audio for visual media class, uh, 293, which means that they've stripped all the, which for their projects, they've stripped all the audio out of a video and they completely redid all the audio, meaning that all the music, ambience, fully sound effects and dialogue are all original. You'll be noting this for future performers who are in 293. So now I would like to, so now I'd like to bring up Zoe Dukakis and her piece, Brimful World.
that with the amount of people, with the amount of industry, with the amount that we're putting on this earth, we are stressing it. The last 10, 15, I don't even know how many years, we've had an agricultural surplus. We pay farmers to destroy food. The bulk of the economic weight of the agricultural industry in the United States is certainly monocrop. Growing agricultural products for markets, market control of like how we buy food, makes it so that that is the best way to make money, really. Overuse of a certain plot of land, you're losing the nutrients within the soil. So what happens is, is you're exhausting it from everything that it has. And for it to gain back that nutrients, it takes years. In the last few years, like we have mentioned, it has become uh, more of a drier pattern. Mm -hmm. And what that does, it makes the crop mature much quicker. Mm -hmm. And if you're not ready for it, you better have enough water. I don't feel great about our potential to make movement on these issues and to get people to, you know, sort of reduce their um, production of, of greenhouse gases in ways that will um, make a significant difference to global warming. And what will happen as the climate warms, you know, that remains to be seen. So due to a change in our programming, our next performer is going to be the other host of tonight, Christine Sinajon, with her piece, Gravity. Please enjoy. Thank you. 
Let's give another round of applause to Christine. Our next performer coming up is Esteban Dominguez, and he is going to be playing his piece, I'm Here, I'm Here, I'm Here. Please enjoy. Esteban Dominguez's piece, and uh, let's call him up, let's give him a rousing applause so we can take his bow. Esteban. Right on. All right, are you all ready for the next? Yes! Yes. So, we have our, uh, our next person up doing her original audio to a visual called coin operated is Sheena Chand. Yes. Oh my goodness. Ada, 
let's go. Come on, we have to go inside. Aiden, let's go. Yeah. We have to go inside. Yeah. Maybe later. Ma, I want to go out of space. Yeah, but maybe later. We have to go grocery shopping first. Ooh. Ah. Huh. My, watch this. Huh. Ow. That's one small step for man. Mm -hmm. One giant leap for mankind. like to bring out the the lady behind coin operated Sheena Chan our stage manager this evening <laughs> and 
As you see, we have Sheena working in the background today. We wanted to let you all know the whole show this evening is student run. From the people in the sound booth, lighting, stage hand, all of us are working behind the scenes to do this all for you. So we really appreciate you coming tonight. And next up on our program, we have Jude Sarsour and a feature, Edwin Gonzalez doing mind writing. Give him a round of applause. Give them a hand. I think we channeled some new job as Jay Dilla tonight, right? And um, moving on with the, uh, our next piece this evening is by my co-host, Sam Nadelberg, also known as Deer Skull, and, and his work is called Dissonance. He's got a visual um, alongside his music that he created for you tonight. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Next up on our program, we have an, uh, a student from 293, Dominic Labugan, who, who will be presenting his original music to the Visual Oasis. Let's give him a hand. Ah! 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 Ah!
Stand up in the audience, please. Where? Oh. Well, that works out for me. Next up is Carol Broderick with her piece, Wrong Kind of Dangerous. Please enjoy.
Carol Broderick's vocal stylings, awesome. All right. Yes. I love that energy out there. So the next on our program, Rich Kranz will be presenting his original audio entitled Sinking the Uri of 121. Please enjoy. Let's give him a hand.
Yes. And the man behind the amazing audio, Rich Kranz, everyone. And our, our next presentation tonight is by Reese Rodriguez, and he'll be uh, presenting original audio for Poilis. Let's give him a hand.
Next up is Zach Hedelman's piece, Tandemonium. Please enjoy. Right, Zach, could you come onto stage? Let's all give Zach another round of applause. So.
So our next piece is by Clark Westmont, and it'll and his piece is titled "It'll Be Over Soon."
That was the musical styling of Clark Westmont, folks. Bringing down the house. So we have a little breaking down to do. I was curious, do we have any CSM alums in the house? Anybody? Anybody? Let me hear you. All right. We want to welcome you back to your alma mater, and thanks for coming through, supporting the students this evening. And as the screen is coming down, I'd like to present our next student presentation is by Cameron Imperial, and she'll be presenting her original audio, and her piece is called Namu. Let's give her a round of applause.
One wonderful work by Cameron Imperial, and let's bring her up to get, acknowledge her for her tremendous work. Next on our program, we've got For the Low, written by Neil Swanson, better known as Neil Swanee, and he's got some featured artists on the track. We've got Audor, Chris with a K, and Dene. A round of applause, everyone. Unfortunately, uh, Neil got under the weather for today and wasn't able to come. But I think if we all clap loud enough, he'll be able to hear us from home. So why don't we give another big round of applause? So, so our next piece is by Tom and his brother Ben Yaniv. It is, excuse me, it is called Mist in My Eyes.
train car on the wrong market, market today. today. Taking it to Polydero on Royal Plains, where the skies are like quite this way. And I'll burst, first time in years, like desert rain. It's gonna be my home for a decent time. At this age, dreams can never fall out of there. My breath is too thick these days to create any charm. It's air too grimy in my lungs. I remember last week seeing a theater show. I came back too when the cowboys rode. Now all I can think of is sweet southern winds. Maybe the Mojave can sing as a woman again. Make your eyes, I'll go plain and stale. So hopefully when my fate were graze against the pump sands, I'll tumble through Texas like a soft weed. The jagged rocks shape my tender body. I hope my bones wash up like a skeleton ghost. Let my soul live in the Sahara, where cacti live all my remains, and their flowers preserve my name. another round of applause to Tom and his brother Ben Yannick. So our next piece is by Angie Iwaki. Um, she has two pieces in this program. Um, as she has been in both Electronic Music 2 and our 290 free audio for visual media. So once again, to remind you that this is going to have original audio, but the video is not original. So I now present Angie's piece, The Cloud and the Girl.
very own mistress of sound tonight, Angie Iwaki, was behind that masterpiece. And she's in the center of the audience this evening. And folks, we've made it to the final presentation tonight, and by no means is this presentation the least. We've got Tommy Kansunhi, otherwise known as T3, giving us End It Properly, because we're going to end it properly with his song tonight. So let's give him a round of applause. I'm sorry, I know that I'm hurting you 
applause for you all for being with us tonight. And let's give a, another round of applause to Tommy. And an even bigger round of applause for all of our performers tonight. Before we go, we would like to acknowledge the people who, if we didn't have, this concert wouldn't be possible. The feeder direct, uh, excuse me, the feeder manager. Diego Baldonado. Our teacher's assistants. Nicholas Fernandez. We've got Quinn Manili. Zoe Dukakis and Justin Alley. And finally, our professors. We've got, we'd like to especially thank Brenda Hutchinson, Adria Audi, and Chris Bobrowski. Let's give them a round of applause. And we present to you Professor Chris Bobrowski. Oh, and before, before I forget, we're having a reception in the courtyard, and if you'd like to join us, we'd love to see you all there. All right. Our professor, Chris, will now take the mic. Good evening, thank you. Thank you again for uh, coming this evening, and I just wanna say how impressed I am by all the students. You know, uh, many, many students hadn't been in the studios ever before, they were working at home, and then, Jumping in the studios and being able to put a show together like this, it's really impressive. So uh, please give them a round of applause for Thomas <laughs> Um And then we actually have a few people who are getting their AA degree in electronic music. And also a couple people that are transferring or also have gotten their certificate of achievement and I'd like to call them up if I could get Zoe, Quinn, and Sheena on stage. We have a little something for you here. And it's kind of been a tradition when, when uh, folks are moving on, if they would like to say a few words, we usually give them an opportunity. So I'd like to do this now. <laughs> Quinn, you want uh, hey, everyone. Uh, I just want to say it's been a great time here at CSM in the electronic music concert. Just so many good memories, so much fun in the studios. Um, honestly, like, I don't know, like, I feel like this is the best uh, degree here, best department here, if I uh, am honest. <laughs> but I'm biased, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm not the most trustworthy source. Uh, but it's really been great here. Um, sad, to, sad to be going, but uh, hopefully on to bigger things.
I, hello, I'm Zoe Dukakis. Um, it's, I would say it's really great to see all of you, but I can barely see from up here. Um, I would like to thank our wonderful and amazing teachers for granting us such a wonderful program. Not only have I got to learn from them, but I've got to work alongside them, and they make my job easy because they are, truly love what they do. And so I thank you for, being, for taking me under your wing and for being such great mentors to me. And I thank you for my wonderful and talented, crazy talented classmates, um, oh, my mask is falling off, uh, who made me laugh and <laughs> the whole time and I just have so many wonderful memories. This is a bittersweet show for me because it is my last year here at CSM. And this was the only live concert that I've gotten to attend as the past two years I've only done these online. So thank you for making this one so special. And that's all. <laughs> Um, hello, everybody. My name is Sheena. Um, I'll make this sweet and short. Um, I, I first want to say thank you to my professors. Um, without your guidance, I wouldn't have made this far. Um, when I first started CSM, uh, actually, I, I, you know, I was at my lowest point, and so when I did start CSM, um, the, excuse me, this program brought me to life. It brought me back to life. It, it gave me so much knowledge, and I learned so many things that I never thought I would. Um, this program is phenomenal. It's amazing, and CSM is like the only college in the Bay Area that really offers this program. So I'm really blessed, and I'm blessed with all my, um, my classmates. I mean, we've been writing together since the pandemic started, and, you know, we're ending together strong, and it's really good to see everybody in person here. Uh, I definitely want to say, uh, give a big shout out to my mom. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Um, <laughs> my mom's right there. Um, definitely, I want to say thank you to my little son. He was a star of my show. Thank you so much. And uh, my partner as well for, for guiding me and helping me make it this far. And uh, thank you guys all for ma making time and, and spending it uh, with us tonight. Great. Thanks again, and please join us at the reception. Good night. <laughs>